Uh, and today in this video, we'll be discussing the module 4 super important question of ACA, which is regarding the um, architecture of the SIMD. Okay, SIMD means single instruction multiple data. What is the architecture? What are the key points you have to write and remember in an easier manner? All these things I'll be discussing. If you watch this video till the end, you'll be crystal clear with what you have to actually write in exam for expecting full marks. Make sure the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and without wasting any more time, let's get started. So, the first thing what you have to keep in mind is about um, what is the SIMD full form? SIMD means single instruction instruction multiple streams okay single instruction multiple streams or the data that is the same thing data streams so you'll be having one instructions and you will be having multiple data associated with that okay three or four uh, streams of data so one instruction will be performed on multiple data or also known as various data and the instruction will be identical okay so it includes two parts you have to write the second key point it the uh, first one is front end computer the front end computer has the one human style and after that the second part of the computer has the processor array processor array means many processors will be there all these processors what it will do it will do some task okay the task will be uh, visible in the uh, front end side see suppose that you are sitting from here and you will be able to see what are the tasks happening from the one human uh, style architecture and what are the processor happening that is happening in the processor array so we need to understand in a great depth what is processor array that is the key concept in this uh, question Processor array is a synchronized identical processing elements. There will be many elements present. All are identical. We are processing that elements. That is uh, the work of processor array. And it also implements the same operations on various data. See various data. Why? Because multiple data streams are there. So obviously the data will be different and there will be various data. And we are performing the same operation, right? We are not performing some different operations. Same operation is being performed. So it is called as the identical processing elements. Next we have uh, for each processor will be having a small uh, memory associated with that. Next question is what will be in that memory? In that memory we will be having distributed data. Why it is distributed? It is distributed because we have multiple data. So multiple data must be distributed, right? It cannot be in the same place all the data. It must be distributed. So all those distributed data lies in that small amount of local memory which each processor has. Got the point? Then we have while it is processed in parallel, we will be using the uh, distributed data. While we are processing it, we will be using the distributed data and this is the architecture you have to make. In the left hand side, what we have is the one human computer and in the right hand side, we have the virtual processors. This is the first part of the uh, in intro I told you, right? There are two parts in the system, uh, SIMD. First is the front end part, which is in the one human computer cell. You'll be sitting and watching what's happening and all the virtual processors will be present. This is called as processor array. Okay, this is how the SIMD architecture model is made and three key points you have to write after this is a program can be developed and used using a programming language obviously and programming language when it's developed we will be using that serial method okay not use the parallel method but ironically we will be using the uh, parallel method while we are implementing the SIMD operations that's all the key points you need to score full marks make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one